welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my videos if you're new here thank you for stopping by please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel just do it before you start watching this video thank you okay yeah so uh today i'm going to be doing a cooking video so i'm currently filming my kitchen because i'm doing a cooking video see i wanted to do this for so long so long but the logistics of doing cooking videos like don't think that because you are watching people on youtube that is very easy is that that is that easy you watch the cme you think it's just very easy to do recipe this thing it's not easy anyway i'm going to be doing a cooking video today and today i will be making a nigerian delicacy okra soup yeah so i'm sure that if you're if you're nigerian you know what okra soup is if you are not okra is a vegetable that's all i can say that's a vegetable so you can i will just you know put a picture so that you can see what it looks like but yeah okra is a vegetable and we eat it with swallow you can eat it with um with uh eba with amala with semo whatever it is that you want to eat it with cha thanks so i'm going to be making that today so let's just get right into the video So this is what the okra looks like. I got this frozen from the African store here in Lithuania and it comes like this. So um usually it's it comes sliced, usually it comes sliced, but as you can see this is the slices are like too big for me, so I'm still going to open them up and slice them a little more. So this is what we are cooking. This is the soup. This is what we're going to use to make the soup. So these are major ingredients for the soup uh this is the chicken that i'll be using so i want to i will cut this into uh like bigger portions and then i will dice it, most of this into it so you can with every scoop you eat it uh this is obono so obono is for drying i don't know how to explain it i don't know what it is in english but this is obono and i brought it from nigeria so sometimes people do not need to use obono with the okra they are just okay with using okra because okra also draws but i like uh i like my okra really dry very viscous or <laughs> i don't know the name so i'm going to be using obono to make it you know dry a little bit more i will show you you would see what it looks like and um, what i mean when i'm done so those are like major ingredients and then i have um, pepper um, salt uh crayfish maggi uh, and onions i wash the meat up now and cut it and i will also slice the okra and show you what it looks like separately because um because it's diced um really small it's going to uh boil faster so i'm going to start boiling this one first and that's after it's been well i will pour this in so now my chicken is washed and ready to be boiled so i will just put in uh um i'll put in salt uh this is salt like i said in my previous video i really do not like measure out um stuff i just put as the spirit leads which is what i'm doing right now this is the maggie that will be going into this mm -hmm. Wow, uh -huh. 
I will just leave this one to be ready. So usually when I'm trying to um, steam the meat, I don't put water immediately. I leave it to boil out the water first and then after the water has come out a little bit and all, there is no more water left in the meat, I then add water. This way the meat toughens up and is not too soft while we are eating it. So the next thing is my okra and I will open it now to, to slice. So this is what it looks like and I'm just going to use the knife to cut it a little bit more. This is the first time I'm using frozen okra to cook. I have never tried it before but I know that this is one way to preserve your okra and make things easy for when you want to um you know like have everything in your fridge and preserve especially if you shopped for the lockdown period and you're worried about how long your your food will last so like the okra you can just slice it to your preferred frequency and when you're done slicing it you just pack it in a ziploc bag and and put in the fridge so all you need to do is take it out and cook with it Right now, because I didn't slice this myself, I do not like the sizes, which is why I'm cutting it again. But if you slice it yourself, then you get the right size and you don't need to cut it again. some spinach in the fridge and I think that it's going to be a good idea to add some spinach as vegetable to the meal so I'm just going to take out some of it just the least to see that the curd is not a lot and I will take this out so this so this is my meat and as you can see I have yet to add any water to the meat but there is some amount of water that has come out so now I will just um, add this meat that we could talk about how you all are doing um, I know that the lockdown is being lifted in a couple places I mean here the lockdown has been more or less lifted because stores are open now and things are going on as normal even bars and restaurants have opened now and I can't even lie to you I'm very tempted to just go back to you know what life was like before um, before the pandemic but I know that we are still in critical stages and 
it's important that we take precautions and uh, stay still stay indoors as much as we can and as much as we can stay indoors as much as we can if you actually do not need to go out then don't go anywhere I'm talking to myself too because I miss going out I'm just taking all the all the caution in me to not go out so when cooking, do you absolutely wait for your food to be ready before you eat anything? Do you try to find something to eat while cooking? Do you eat what you're cooking while it's cooking? Like maybe take meat from the pot or something. What is your cooking like? We can use plantain. No, so plantain is like a banana that you fry. So let's say you're frying plantain or you're frying, frying potatoes. Do you eat it while you're frying or you wait for everything to be ready before you eat? If you're not already following me on Instagram and Twitter, please follow me. I handle that at amypebbles underscore. It's always in my comment and in my description box, so you can always find this thing in my description box and follow me. So while this is burning, I'm going to add my crayfish. palm oil and some obono inside so I will just add my okra
and my okra is ready so uh, I will just take it down now I will turn on the light and wait for the chicken to grill and when the chicken has grilled I will pour it inside here and our food is ready